Welcome to part two of the colorful stencil portrait for Photoshop. So in a previous video, I made this my portrait, and now I'm going to put some colorful um, background behind it with some brushes. So before we begin, I want to get rid of the white parts of the portrait. To do that, I'm going to click the magic wand tool, which is the fourth tool down from the top, and um, I'm going to look here across the top where the options are and take off the check mark where it says contiguous. Then I'm going to click on the white part, any white part of my portrait, and simply hit delete. So what that did was left the black parts but got rid of all the white. So to get rid of the selection on the keyboard, I'm going to click Control D. And um, let's just make the background a solid color. So I'm going to go down to the Layers panel, and down here on the bottom, I'm going to click the New Layer button. The New Layer button went above my portrait, so I'm actually just going to click it and drag it below my portrait, because I don't want the color to go on top of my portrait. I want it to go behind it. So over here on the Swatches panel, I'm going to choose the color for my background, let's say um, this blue color. And if you, when I, you'll notice that when I click that blue, it showed up down here in this swatch. So I can further change this if I want to by double clicking it, and I can move this around, let's say I want a little bit of a lighter blue. So I can click around inside of here, I can move this slider up and down, and I can change that color. So I'm going to click OK. Now to paint that background, I'm going to come down here to the gradient tool because grouped with the gradient tool is the paint bucket. So I'm going to click and hold on the gradient tool and grab the paint bucket. Make sure I'm on layer one and click that. So now I have this nice blue background behind my portrait. Again, I'm going to click down here to make a new layer and on this one, I'm going to put some brush marks. So I'm going to get the paintbrush tool. Watch out, because there's another paintbrush tool right here with an arrow swooping over it. That's not the paintbrush tool. That's actually the history brush. You don't want that one. You do want the one that's a little bit above it. So you know that the brush options are up here at the top and when you open that you can see that there's all these different sorts of brushes but these are kind of the normal boring brushes you can actually add a lot more exciting brushes and you can get lots of brushes off the internet too so to add brushes I'm going to click on this little pop-out menu right here and go down the menu to load brushes so on the P drive, I have saved a folder called Brushes, and I'm going to go through there and pick a few of them that I like. So let's say um, Spatter Brushes, I'm going to double click that. So now, if I look down here at the bottom, here's my Spatter Brushes. So I'm going to load a few more, click this pop-out menu, go down to Load Brushes. I'm going to do Grungy Watercolor. So now those are added. I'm going to do some more. This time I will do, how about this watercolor? Great, there's some more. And load brushes again. I'm going to get, where the, oh, there we go, floral brushes. And I think I'll stop right there for now. Alrighty, so let's choose maybe this one here, which looks like a watercolor brush. And then I'm gonna go get a color from over here. Let's say, um, I don't know, purple. These um, always turn out differently every time you do one. You kind of can't predict where, how it's gonna look when you start. So on uh, layer two, my new blank layer, I'm just going to, um, you know, give this a few splatters of color and now maybe I'll change to how about this pink one and get a different brush ooh interesting and put some of that on there 
Now, um, I'm going to make a new layer right down here in the Layers panel. And let's say maybe this green color. And I'm going to get maybe this. No, I don't like that brush. Let's go for this one right here. And maybe put some of that around the edges. Start filling this in. Now the neat thing that you can do because these layers are um, separate is that you can actually change the blend modes. So right now the blend mode is on normal. I can pop to open that. Um, pop that open I mean. I'll click dissolve. Now dissolve is highlighted in blue and I can use the keyboard to go through those one at a time and change the blend modes and see what looks interesting. And if you don't like any of them, you don't have to use the blend modes. I actually kind of like that one, the white. So let's see. Let's add a couple of more. I kind of like this flower, right? Ooh, that flower is really interesting. It's a little bit too big for me, though. So next to the P on your keyboard, I'm going to hit the left bracket until that's small. Again, I'm going to make a new layer. And let's do something really bright this time. I'm going to click this yellow. And, ooh, wow, that is pretty bright. Maybe I'll make it even smaller. Do a couple of smaller ones around here. Maybe one down in that corner. Let's change the blend mode on that. So dissolve, and I'm going to go through those one at a time. Ooh, like the white. Oh, actually, I think I like that one right there, overlay. They were a little bit bright before. I think that makes it look a little bit better. So you can just continue this and go as far as you want and, and keep adding to your portrait until it's the way you like it. Um, you'll notice that I've been avoiding the face. And I would like a little bit of color on the face, but I don't want to overdo it too much because we actually really do want to see the portrait. We don't want to obscure it um, too much. But I do think that it could use a little bit of color um, added to it. So um, when you're finished, you should save it and um, put one copy um, as a JPEG. Save one copy as a JPEG and put it on your Photoshop page on your website. And that's it for now.